Hi, my name is Pastor Hal York, and welcome to Truth in the Trenches. Now, today we're going to be in Proverbs 16, verse 18. And the Bible has a lot to say about pride, and none of it is good. Let me give you some examples. Proverbs 8, 13, The fear of the Lord is to hate is hatred of evil, pride and arrogance in the way of evil and perverted speech I hate. 11 verse 2, when pride comes, then comes disgrace, but with the humble is wisdom. 21 24, scoffer is the name of the arrogant, haughty man who acts with arrogant pride. 29 23, one's pride will bring him low, but he who is lowly in spirit will obtain honor. And our verses today says, Chapter 16, verse 18, pride goes before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall. Well, pride, what is it? Well, it could be described in several ways. It's a consciousness of one's own dignity, having an excessively high opinion of yourself or of one's importance. The result is boasting and bragging and seeking glory for oneself, full of oneself. There's no way to define it to make it sound like something we would want. But sadly, we all have it. But the essence of sin is pride, is what led Satan to get kicked out of heaven. I will be like the Most High. Pride is the leading cause of foolishness. It's a characteristic of the foolish person. So it's not surprising that Proverbs has a lot to say about pride. Wisdom is seeing where attitudes and actions lead, and pride is certainly an action and an attitude that leads somewhere. It has repercussions. It leads us to a certain place in life and in relationships. It leads to attitudes. Look at our world filled with sin and consequently pride, and the results are ugly. Pride goes before destruction. If you could find a black box of failed marriages and ruined families and lives that have been ruined by foolish choices, etc., what the data would reveal is pride played a big part, if not the major part, in the devastation. There's nothing rooted any deeper in the heart of mankind than pride. Romans 1.22 says, Claiming to be wise, they became fools. Pride goes before destruction. Overconfidence goes before destruction. An unwillingness to listen to counsel goes before destruction. Wise in our own eyes goes before destruction. Looking down on others goes before destruction. Having an excessively high opinion of ourselves or of one's importance goes before destruction. Boasting goes before destruction. Seeking all the glory goes before destruction. Arrogance goes before destruction. I think we see a pattern there. They all spring from the root of pride. But on the other hand, think about humility, what Proverbs says about humility. 1533, the fear of the Lord is instruction and wisdom, and humility comes before honor. Before destruction, a man's heart is haughty, but humility comes before honor. 22.4, the reward for humility and fear of the Lord is riches and honor and life. Humility is esteeming others before oneself, thinking about others, willing to learn, admitting we don't have all the answers, willingness to listen. It's a proper view of ourselves, which which begins with the fear of the Lord, chapter 1, verse 7. Pride, just like poison, can be camouflaged, repackaged, relabeled in many different ways, but it doesn't change the outcome. Just as an example, learning to love oneself may sound like a noble and worthy pursuit, but it's just another way of saying learning to have a high opinion of yourself, or learning to be proud, learning to be arrogant. Learning to love yourself goes before destruction. It's not the path to peace and joy. Paul says in Ephesians chapter 5, no one has ever yet hated, truly hated themselves. Yet our culture has been feeding this on this truth for years, or what they supposed to be a truth for years. Building it into the family, into marriage and relationships and friendship, building it into our children, learning to love yourself. And where has it led us? Well, read the paper. Destruction. Relationships falling apart. The family disintegrating. Yet we refuse to believe the reports from Scripture that pride goes before destruction. It was pride, arrogance, a we-don't-need-God attitude that brought down the family and is destroying everything of value in our culture and society. First Peter tells us to humble ourselves under the mighty hand of God and He will lift us up. God resists the proud but gives grace to the humble. See pride for what it is. It's sin. 
It's the enemy of joy and peace. It's the enemy of the cross. Proud people need, but don't want, a Savior. Pride goes before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall. When airliners have a fatal accident, hundreds of lives can be lost, as we know. And invariably, the investigators try to find the black boxes to determine what brought this plane down. And sometimes those black boxes reveal it was a small little thing that brought it down. Or sometimes it reveals it was a major malfunction. An engine fell off or stopped working or whatever. But pride, Proverbs tells us, is a major malfunction. If there's pride in your life, it's not a small thing. It is a huge thing. And it will have devastating results. Pride goes before destruction. We need to believe that. And we need to confess it. And we need to humble ourselves under the mighty hand of God. And believe what he says. He will lift us up. So may we guard our hearts from this thing called pride. May this truth guide us in the trenches of life as we seek to live for the glory of God and the good of others. May God bless.